Okay, now we're going to move on to a, a more difficult function for, more difficult question on functions for the American Olympia, sorry, the AMC. And this is a, possibly a personal favorite of mine, ranks up quite high on the list of favorite questions. And I like it, despite not liking functions in general, but I really like it because it's very interesting and it really takes a lot of thinking about how everything matches up together. Okay, so we've got a function over here. Function x is equal to cx divided by 2x plus 3. Okay, we got that function over there, and the question asks us asks to find the value of c so that this thing is satisfied, and that is the function of the function of x is equal to x itself. Something like uh, timing times a number by its inverse, you get 1, but it's totally different from that. You just take the function of the function, and you get x by itself. Okay, I think there's a term for that, I'm not too sure. Okay, anyways, now we know that x cannot equal 2 minus 3 divided by 2 because this would be invalid and it would, it would not have a number, so x cannot be there. But we need to think of a value of x such that this is satisfied. Now, when you look at the question, you see the two really outstanding for formulas which seem to, it's difficult to manipulate, but whatever the case may be, you should be clear on what we're trying to find. You see, c is a constant. Let's just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's a certain constant, a certain number that we need to find. x still remains the variable, okay? You put in a value for x inside there, you apply the function, you get the, what the result is, the range of the function, okay? So let's be clear, we're trying to find c, okay? And the function is in x. Now, by looking at it, what I can suspect, if you were to really want to trace out or really plan ahead, is that we're going to just simply get an equation, okay? Possibly written in terms of c and in terms of x, and we need to solve that so that we can solve for c. Quadratic equation maybe polynomial, I do not know, but it's just that we want to have an equation where we can analyze and try to find the value of c. And the equation is going to come from here. Okay, so basically, let's just rewrite this out. And then, like, wow, how am I going to rewrite it out? Well, this is where the trick that I told you from the start comes in handy, okay? If it's a trick, it's the right term, you see? This, this is what we want to write. Instead of writing x, we write uh, blank over there. Because what we're going to do is that whatever value we pick inside the function, we're going to put it inside the blank. Now, in this case, what, what, is, what we're picking is this thing over here, okay? Well, what is this thing over here? This thing over here is this thing over here, which is this thing over here. So basically now, we are applying the function on this whole thing, so this whole thing is going to go inside the blanks over here, like that, and it's going to equal 2x, okay? I hope you understand, okay? So that would just simply mean that the algebra gets a little bit intimidating, but it doesn't matter, it's still the same, okay? So I'm putting this whole thing inside the blanks, this is what I got 2 divided by cx, 2x plus 3, okay, plus by 3. Okay, rearranging it, I would just leave the denominator as the denominator of the top and the bottom as 2x plus 3, okay? So 2x plus 3 goes over here. This can times by over this like so, 2cx, okay? And this will just multiply by this, so I'll be a plus, okay? There will be a 6x plus 9, okay? I hope you can see that. And it's because they're the same denominator, I can just cancel out, and this would give me cx squared divided by 2cx plus 6x plus 9 and this is equals to x. What we want to solve is find c so that this is the equation that we have. Okay, so let's just do some rearranging. Okay, I will just have to bring this over the other side. So I've got c squared x is equals to, okay, that will be 2cx squared plus 6x squared plus 9x, okay? And then I will want to further again rearrange, why don't I just bring all the terms at the other side, so I will get c, c, 2c, sorry, 2c plus 6x squared, okay, plus 9 take away c squared x. Okay, so now here is the interpretation part, okay? This basically, when I put in the function, or when I put in the, yeah, put in the function, okay, I, this is what I want to satisfy, right? So I put this in the function over here, I would in turn get this one over here. So, in a way, this is a sum of that. So, if I need to satisfy that, I will need to satisfy this, okay? I hope you can see that I'm, have, I'm reducing this thing over here to this thing over here, okay, and I need to satisfy this. Okay, well, what do I know? Here comes the part where you may not know how to proceed because, let's see, I got an x and I got a c. I got two variables. Does that mean I need multivariable differentiation? Well, not so, okay? Because what are the terms? What are the meaning of the terms? x is the variable, c is the number that you are trying to find. 
So this is in, in an equate sign. So if we can somehow make this equate to this, does that mean that we satisfy that? Well, certainly it does, okay, because this is just simply that. So we want to try to make this equate to this, and this is zero. So we just want to basically, okay, try to make this zero and to make this zero over here, okay? I hope that makes sense because only by doing that, these two would be zero, okay? And that shouldn't be that difficult to find because, see, from here, 2c plus 6 is equal to 0, c is equal to minus 3, okay? But from down here, we will get c squared is equal to 9, c is equal to minus 3 or 3, okay? Well, certainly from here, we get c is equal to minus 3, and that is the answer because we need to make both of them 0, so c equals to minus 3 is the only one there. Now, uh, the barriers to the problem is really where to take it from here, okay? You might want to differentiate x squared. You might even want to be tempted to find the, the solution for x, thinking that this is a quadratic equation. I don't blame you for that. But remember, what is it we want to find? We want to find c, okay, when x is still the variable that, 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 that is, uh, is varied. So we want to find c so that this thing is satisfied. And that occurs when this is equals to 0, this equals to 0, so that we get 0 over there. And that is where c equals to minus 3, the answer that we need. Okay, now here comes the interesting bit, which I would really like to say. Now, what we can do, honestly, is to pick a value of x, right? Okay, by the way, this is the answer. The, the, the question is over. Okay, but what we can do is that we can pick a value of x over here, okay? Do the necessary algebra, and really, we get an equation that is in terms of c alone. Does that make sense? We pick a value of x, we put it inside here, we put it inside here, apply the function. So in a way, x has already become a real value, and we are left with c, and then we can solve for c. Well, let's see what we get. Now, I already done it for you. If we put in 0, right, we will get 0, so no, not, not much help there. But let's just say we put in 1, okay? I will just do it very quickly. So 1 is over here, so c, uh, c will be c1 divided by 5, okay? And then that will go inside here again, so that will be c squared divided by, that will be 2c divided by 5 plus 3, and that is equal to 1, because I decided that x is equal to 1. Okay, I'll put this over here, this becomes an a, so c squared, this becomes a 15 plus 2c equals 1. So I would have this equation over here, okay? Now, if you were to solve that, Something interesting comes out. You get c equals to minus 3 and c equals to 5. And that is why I like a question like this. This is the question mark again. Another one of those funny things we get for the American Mass Olympiad. We put in x inside there. After all, if we put in 1 inside here, it's equals to 1. This is the equation that we get. So this thing is satisfied. We, we want to solve for c. c, we get two values, minus 3 and 5. But why is it that 5 is not the answer? Well, I, I don't know. Now, do I have more time? If I go to MIT, maybe I can, I can find the answer and I would love to, okay? Whether if I go to MIT or not, I don't know. But really, this is one of those mysteries for the Olympic questions that, you know, taking two separate approaches where one of them seems to originate from the same, from the same equation, okay? You get two separate answers, okay? But nonetheless, one of my favorite questions for the American Mathematics competition, okay? It's Danny signing off.